Hello everyone. Today is the day before Easter. I am here in the woods in central Pennsylvania and I am on a cave hunt. I have encountered what appears to be a pretty interesting lead. As you can see I've been riding my bike pulled it off into the woods here. I am now in a fairly sizable sink. It's really like a few small valleys leading into this sink. There's one right here coming down. There's one right here coming down that has basically all the water. There's something over here coming down, much less significant. And there's something here coming down. It's all funneling down into this uh, pile of uh, organic debris. Uh, some fairly sizable logs in places. I don't know if that means uh, the water has carried them down here or if it's just over time gravity pulled it in here. But if we take a walk over here So I mentioned here's the water down from the valley and heading into this hole here so you can see the water actually disappears long before it gets to here at least this time of year and you pop down into here There's a very dry looking salamander. <laughs> I don't know if he's dead or he is just really, really dry. Anyway, it's going to be impossible for you to really see in here, but uh, well, maybe not. I don't know how well you'll be able to make this out. But right down in here, that's actually limestone bedrock. Um, there's cool air. Not very strong, but there is cool air. I've breathed in here, and there's actually mist that will come back out. My my breath appears to be condensing, so I'd say there's some sort of connection into this uh, into a some sort of cave here. But uh, I might pull at this a little bit, not excavate, of course, just pull some things aside, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see if I can't. Uh, Work into something here. Okay, uh, an hour or two has passed. I've uh, moved some rocks around. Didn't pull out the shovel or anything like that. Exposed much more of the uh, limestone. And I think I've just about reached uh, the one man limit of this. I've encountered quite a large rock that I can move around a little bit, but I can't get out of the hole. So here is the uh, the limestone that I pointed out earlier. Seems to be I don't know some sort of like wall or something. So there's a little bit of space in behind there. It doesn't go too far before it gets to like fist sized hole down in here is the same deal and underneath of this rock once again drops about two or three feet um, there are some sticks in here that kind of look as if the water might have put them in there at one point in time wouldn't be too shocked but uh, yeah this this bad boy is far too big for me to really do anything more with it uh, yeah, I moved far more rocks than I originally intended to, but uh, I learned that it's uh, not just going to be something easy. I'm going to have to break the rock up somehow or get come along, something along those lines. But, uh, let's uh, look over here at this water. And I failed to point out earlier, at least I think I did, that 
this water actually splits a little ways up here. And it sinks in a different spot, but uh, maybe I'll take a take a look at that other spot and see if I have any better luck. But the way it's kind of looking, I'm inclined to think that it might all be going to the one hole, but uh, sometimes you just don't know. But yeah, here's where the other water sinks. No exposure that I have noted, but I've never looked extremely closely in this spot. Theoretically, there's something here. I don't know how else you'd explain the water loss. I should probably go up there too. So that looks to just kind of drop in. Uh, take a quick walk down here. Lots of debris you would have to remove. Nothing I'm not a big fan of here. It's just a lot of dirt as opposed to rocks. It's hard to say how much dirt you would have to remove to even figure out if uh, anything's happening in this spot. But Ooh, well, there's some rocks down in there. I can't see that too well on the video. But it's not bedrock. One possibility is it's just coming down here, looping around, and then going into the spot where I'm digging. Because you do kind of get like a little bit of a channel here. So I'm thinking this is kind of like a just a little sidebar thing. There might be something small here, but. Probably not a very high capacity, which is why you see that channel there. It seems to be going in that direction, not uh, the other way around. Um, I do notice it appears to be a little bit of limestone exposure there, though. So uh, maybe I will pop this and we'll see what happens. Just wanted to show you guys one more thing before I leave. It's been probably 20 minutes or so. Since I was last at the spot, I last really touched anything, and there seems to be a pretty consistent draft coming out of this hole here. I don't know how well this is actually going to show up on the video. Right in the shadow of this rock here. There's a what appears to be clearly clearly moist air uh, coming out of uh, this hole. Maybe I can get a little bit closer and it'll come out better. Maybe. Try not to get one of these rocks following me here. Alrighty, let's try to get a little bit closer. Yeah, here we go. Now I understand that, you know, there could be other explanations for this. You know, with the recently excavated dirt and the sun hitting it. Uh, naturally having the uh, moisture uh, be, uh, come off the dirt here. But uh, it's very consistent and it's a little bit stronger than I would expect. Even down in this hole here I can I can see a little bit of uh, yeah definitely something coming up out of there so I don't know. I'm fairly convinced that there's something here just it's going to have to take a little bit uh, some, an aggressive approach to get some of these larger rocks out of here. Just one more thing to show you guys. Again, here's the sink area with the water coming down. Well, not too far off, there is quite a, a sharp sink. I don't get much sharper than this my experience but uh, theoretically I mean you could 
dig this too if you had an inclination. Uh, so you get some subsidence over here. And down in here, I have a few uh, sinkhole points. I don't, they're not quite sinkholes, but uh, let's try to get down in here. Take a closer look at them. So I'm sure this is some some way connected to what I was pawing at earlier. But uh, clearly active. You get this big tree here, all these roots, the dirt's falling in from underneath of it. Being pulled in for sure. I'm not feeling any airflow. Down in here, it's like for all you know, man, there could be a cave within five minutes of digging. Just, you just don't know. But uh, there's uh, some sort of soil hole going down in there. Same sort of scenario with large rocks wanting to funnel in. Anyway, interesting data point for you all. And the sharp sink. Hello, um, I'm just about ready to wrap it up for the day, but I just want to uh, leave you guys with like one last thing here. So, in front of me is a fairly nice uh, uh, stream going through the woods. At its widest here, I would say that's every bit 15 foot wide, if not wider. And that's not very deep, but there's still a fair amount of water. But the most interesting part about all this water is to the other side of me, it's coming out of the ground. So all of this is spring water, which is quite remarkable. So it branches off here. Two separate spots. Both of them have their own interesting qualities. So it's hard to say which one has most water. They both have quite a bit of water. What's cool about this one now is it's coming out of a, a cavity. The, uh, the tree in front of me has been, uh, the, the dirt underneath the tree in front of me has been pushed out from underneath the tree and there's a, there's a space. Now I've already peered in there. It, uh, it's all soil and rock. But uh, given the amount of water, I can't imagine that passage would be too far away at this point. Let's get a little bit closer in there so you guys can see. So there's no real airspace right here. But uh, it would be interesting if I was to, for example, pull some of these rocks out of the way, which seem to be kind of damming things up a little bit. Speaking of which, that almost looks intentional. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, that might uh, open up some things and reveal whether there's airspace there or not. But Not exactly an ideal scenario, but quite interesting given the amount of uh, water coming out of here. Now for the other interesting branch of this spring water. Check those out. It, uh, it's actually coming right out of limestone. 
Now it too must be a fairly shallow system, so it's hard to say what kind of garbage is working its way through. But uh, I'll show you in a minute here. There are some things about it that make it quite encouraging. Again, lots of water. There's even some cool uh, clean limestone in the bed. But you can also see some in there. But well, here's the getting to the cool part here. Let's see if I can't get over to it without breaking a leg. So this seems to be essentially where it's coming out from. Again, I, a lot of that stuff looked to be afloat. Some of it was definitely uh, bedrock. But this is definitely bedrock in my opinion. Well, except for this right here, of course. But try to get down on in here. It's really hard to get a clean shot into there, but I think there's a, there could very well be a passage right there. So I'm gonna try to stick my head in <laughs> underneath this huge rock, of course, and uh, see if I can't see any passage coming out from there. Obviously, I'm not going to crawl in the water, but uh, I don't know. I'll give you guys an update when I take a peek. 